Hello, and welcome to another great episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today, I will be making a dish that is inspired from my trip to Spain. It is breaded eggplant that's in a tomato wine caper olive sauce. The recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Go there now and follow along with me. Also remember that my videos are now all hosted on dailymotion.com, Fat Vegan Chef. If you like this, re this uh, recipe and my videos, please be sure to f share them with your friends and family. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, a baking pan or a half sheet pan, a couple of dishes to bread your eggplant in, a large saute pan, mixing spoon, a spatula, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a can opener, and a mallet. The ingredients that you'll need to make this dish are one package of Dominic's eggplant or you can use two large eggplants that's been sliced if you can't find it in your area, four teaspoons of capers, two cups of Spanish red wine, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one small onion, red onion that's been diced, one fourth to one half cup of green and black olives that's been chopped and diced, two cloves of garlic that's been minced, two tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil, plus you'll need some more to finish the dish with. You'll need a pinch of saffron, one can of uh, crushed tomatoes, this is 28 ounces, two Roma tomatoes that's been diced, uh, salt to taste, one package of Daya's uh, provolone style cheese slices, one half cup of vegan milk, one tablespoon of energy egg replacer, and two cups of plantain chips that's been beaten. You've got all of your ingredients bought and you're ready to cook, right? Okay, so let's cook. First thing you want to do is heat a pan up. Get it about uh, medium, medium high. Add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then add your red onions. And this is one red onion that's been diced. I'm going to let this cook until the onion turns translucent. Alright, the onions are starting to turn translucent, so we'll add our red pepper flakes and our garlic. And we'll cook this just for a minute more to get the garlic to start to bloom. Now we'll add our capers, our olives. our saffron, and our smoked paprika. Give this a quick stir. This is looking good. Now bring up your heat up to high. Let your pan get hot, and then we're going to add our red wine and our tomatoes. Now that we have the wine and the tomatoes added, what we'll do is we are going to bring this up to a boil. And once it's up to a nice full raging boil, we're going to bring the heat down just a little bit. And we're going to let this simmer and reduce for about half an hour or so. And while this is simmering and reducing, we're going to go ahead and get our eggplant ready. So I'll meet you over at the counter and we will bread our eggplant. Now we're going to go ahead and bread our eggplant. First thing you want to do is turn your oven on 425 degrees. Once you have that turned on, 
then what you'll do is you'll put your vegan milk in one container add your uh, egg replacer and that's one tablespoon and just kind of get that mixed in once you have that mixed in put in your plantain crumbs and the other one and then we'll go ahead and start breading our eggplant. And it's just, just like any other breading process, just take it, coat it, get a good coating of the plantain crumbs on there. And do this until all the eggplant's done. Okay, now that we've got these breaded, what we're going to do now is put these in the oven, bake them for about 15 minutes or so, and we're going to flip them halfway through. Our sauce has been cooking for about half an hour, so now what we'll do is add our Roma tomatoes, and we'll let this cook for another 20 minutes. And then we'll go ahead and finish the dish off. Alright, we've got everything cooked off. Let's go ahead and plate. Doesn't this sauce look amazing? Let's go ahead and taste this first real quick. See if it needs any more salt. No, I think it's good, just the way it is. All right, so what we'll do, we'll take a few pieces of eggplant. We're going to put it on a plate that is oven safe, just like that. Now we'll give it a good ladle of sauce. And now we'll go ahead and put a couple pieces of provolone cheese on top. Just like that. And what we're going to do is put this in back in the oven under the broiler to allow the cheese to melt. All right, we'll put this in the broiler for a few minutes. Let the cheese melt. All right, the cheese is nice and melted and starting to turn golden brown. Be careful taking this out of the oven. The plate is going to be extremely hot. I bet right now your entire house is full of the fragrance of the eggplant and this rich tomato wine sauce. As you can see, the cheese is melted onto the eggplant dish. Now what we'll do is just finish this off. And what you want to do is take some really good Spanish extra virgin olive oil and just drizzle just a little bit right on top, just like that. Now this dish is finished. And I hope you like this recipe. You can find this recipe and a lot more at thefatveganchef.com. If Please share this recipe with your friends and family members. Show them the website. Share it on your Facebook wall and on your Twitter feed. It, and also, if you liked it, please donate uh, to help keep me going. You can find that information at thefatveganchef.com as well. There's a button right on top that says uh, donate. And I do take PayPal, GoFundMe. Also, if you shop on Amazon, there's a link to where that will take you to Amazon and all the proceeds will go to me as well. It doesn't cost you any more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy.